In this video, we start with the chapter Measurement by having a look at the perimeter of polygons. The perimeter of a shape is the distance around that shape. Distance is a one-dimensional quantity that can be measured in different units, for example, centimeters or meters. This perimeter is the distance that you will travel right around the shape to end where you started. Another way to look at perimeter is opening up the shape and putting all the side lengths next to each other, forming a long straight line and then measuring the length of that line. A polygon is a shape that consists of straight lines. So to determine the perimeter of any polygon, we simply get the sum of all the lengths of the sides. Example. Calculate the perimeter of each of the following shapes. We now know that to get the perimeter of a polygon, we need to get the sum of all the side lengths. In this first example, we have a rectangle. That means we need to add up four side lengths. So we have four centimeters and six centimeters, another four centimeters, and finally another six centimeters. So we'll add up. 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus another 6. Or you could have written two sides of 4 centimeters plus another two sides of 6 centimeters. So the final answer 20 centimeters. In example 2, we have a combination of rectangles. And again, we need to add up all the side lengths. So starting at point H, we have hi as 5 meters plus 3 plus another 3 and then 4 meters. The lengths of the final two sides are not given clearly. But we can see that side FG firstly consists of 3 meters similar to right across from it and then another 5 meters. So in total FG is 8 meters. And then working with the 4 meters of EF, we can say that side HG should be another 1 meter. So that the two vertical sides on the right add up to the same total as the side right across from it. This means that the perimeter of this shape is 5 meters plus 3 plus another 3 plus 4 plus 8 plus 1. This gives us a perimeter of 24 meters. In example 3, we have a right-angled triangle. Two of the three sides are given as 3 and 4 centimeters, and we can use the theorem of Pythagoras to determine the length of the hypotenuse. So, km squared will be equal to the sum of the other two sides squares because of the theorem of Pythagoras. 9 plus 16 will give us 25. And now to determine the value of km only, we need to take the square root of 25, which means that km is equal to 5. So now we can go and calculate the perimeter of the triangle, and that will be 3 plus 4 plus 5, which gives us a total of 12 centimeters. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how to determine the perimeter of a circle, which will be called a circumference. For the circle, there are no more sides that we can add up.